Bulgaria's best burgers, BBB. Yes, Junk Food Japan is all the way here in Varna, 10,000 kilometers away from Tokyo. And we're gonna go rank three different burger joints to see if they compare and hold up to what I've had in Tokyo. Mm, you know I've had a good Wagyu burger before in my life. Anyway, I am hungry, so let's get going. While in Bulgaria for work as the official ring announcer for Senshi, I decided to pop out to explore the city in search of street food. Historically known as Odessa's, Varna is an ancient city where people have lived since prehistoric times. The oldest gold in the world is found in museums here, which makes sense, as it's called the birthplace of the first European civilization, starting way back in the 5th millennium BC. Varna developed over generations from a Thracian seaside settlement to a major seaport on the Black Sea. Modern day Varna's tourism is the most important sector of the city's economy with over 60,000 beds and 300 hotels. They welcome 2 million tourists all year round. So this is a joint called Burgers and Fries. Go! Oh! It is uh, pretty cool and it looks legit. Hey man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Man, you're a big boy. <laughs> Thank you, man, you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So burgers and fries. Uh, How yeah. good is it here? 10 out of 10, man. 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. Yeah, recommend it. Is uh, this on par with what we're looking for? Because we're looking for Bulgaria's best burgers. In, I don't know about Bulgaria, but here in Varna, they are the best. They're yeah, really but Varna is the best place in Bulgaria, right? Yeah, it is, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> in the summer, oh my God. Which one is your favorite? My favorite for burgers, Yeah. maybe the banger. It's the, the banger? Yeah, it has everything from it. I mean, spicy, yeah. good meat, everything is good. Everything is good in this. For the fries, chili fries. If you like spicy, it's the best one. Okay, okay, so the banger, I mean, the name says it all, right? Yeah, it says it all, yeah. That's cool. Anyway, do you got a message for all the fans watching for Junk Food Japan? Go subscribe to Junk Food Japan. <laughs> Love it. Right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. So you. Much. All right, so I'm standing here with Chef Daniel. You guys have been here for four years, right? Yes, yes. We started before four years. So, what is your best selling burger here? Best selling is uh, the bacon cheeseburger, the banger, because it's with uh, homemade chili con carne, homemade sriracha mayo sauce, double trouble for uh, big guys. This is some of the fries, bacon fries, and chili fries. Nice. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to have some of the chili fries today and also the banger just because I like the name of it. <laughs> but um, I see that you actually won an award in 2022. Can you tell us about that? This award is uh, from people who order from takeaway platform and they give us uh, very good reviews and we win it. So you're the champion in Warner. We was. What is your take on where you get your beef from? Uh, we take it from a local farm, 80 kilometers from Varna. If someone comes and you know to Varna and they want to look for you, what, what channels should they look for you? On Instagram or something? Instagram and Facebook for now. And the people can find us there. Cool. Do you have a message for Junk Food Japan fans? Because most of the people are in America and you're doing a burger shop right here in Varna, Bulgaria. What are your feelings about that? Yes. Um, the fast food is not... Uh, uh, the fast food like before years. Now this is uh, we, we made a uh, lot of burgers. Uh, they are better than in a restaurants, you know, for sure. Yeah. Well, I gotta say I'm super excited about having one of your burgers. So uh, let's put in the order, man. Thank you so much. Everything good. Is that the order? Yes, of course. Bon appetit. Oh man, dude, you totally delivered on this thing. It is beautiful. You will need a lot of uh, snap cakes. Okay, thank you so much, sir. I actually think Bulgaria knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to burgers. But uh, with my Danish beer, not endorsed by this company, but if you ever need me, call me, call me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is probably one of the more sexiest burger meals I've ever seen in my life. Man, to just come here and look for BBB, Bulgaria's best burgers, I think we hit the jackpot. Well, once again, I mean, you got to stay true to the tradition, right? Three, two, one, itadakimasu! And clearly, what we're going to do is we're going to try some of these chili fries. Oh, man, they are doused in, like, sauce and chilies like nothing else. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Melted cheese. Mm-hmm. Check. Good fry. Check. Good chili. Check. Oh, man. Jalapenos, check for sure. 
Man, you know when you got a good fry, when it sucks up some of that sauce. Mm. That is a serious good fry. It's really crunchy too. Normally when they get over doused with all the chili, they become soggy and soft and everything. But that fry delivers. Master Chef was not lying. We're gonna need some more tissues to eat this. But the burger, come on. Let's have a look at this behemoth burger. Look at that. This thing, the cheese is like coming off and melting on it. I mean, come on, the cheese is good. This is the banger burger. So it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. I have absolutely no clue what's inside it because I didn't even bother to ask. You know, once in a while, you just gotta be surprised. Once in a while, you just gotta be surprised. And um, let's just go for the bite. Man, the bun softness though. I could tell there's a nice like, you know, softness again. I'm thinking that the bun really does the job of what it's supposed to do here. But that melted cheese is just, it's talking to me. If it's not in your face, it doesn't belong in your mouth. What just happened? Man, this is banging. It is doing exactly what it's called. The beef in this burger, whoo. It's a bit spicy too, because it's got the jalapeno in it, which I actually like. I like that kick to the burger. Man, this is delicious, absolutely. I gotta say, you've got uh, a little bit of a raw onion in there, which uh, mixes really well with the chili, all right? So you get that freshness from the raw onion on it, but the beef, we're talking like punching your mouth kind of beef on this one. It is delicious like nothing else. The cheese is melted on this thing. Look at that. It's just falling off it. It's coming in pieces almost. Ugh. And it's got some kind of sweet sauce on it. I think, I think it's the sweet sauce from the chili. It must be the chili beans because that's exactly what it tastes like. Mm. Man, they really, really deliver. I can understand why. These places here in Barna will be popular with the young people. I'm just gonna grab some of that cold beer because this is just too good, man. Beer and burgers, wow. Oh, that is good. That is exquisitely good. Mm, we should even put a BBBB on that thing. Bulgaria's best beer and burgers. There you have it. Let's get on the road. The second burger place right here in Bulgaria that we're gonna check out is the Fan Burger. I mean, I'm a burger fan, so why would I not gonna go to a place called the Fan Burger? Let's go find out which is their best one. Hi, do you speak English? A little bit? I would like to ask you, which is the most popular burger here? The Magic Burger and the Fan Burger. The Magic Burger and the Fan Burger. Yes. Well, they both look great, so can I have one of each? Yes, of course. I have to try the french fries. Okay. How long have you guys been in business here? Uh, maybe one year. One year? Yes, I think so. So it's, it's new. Is it popular with the young people? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Of course. <laughs> All right, well, let me pay for it so I can get something to eat. Well, you do know the thumb rule of burgers is always check the fries first. Oh yeah, nice and crunchy. Mm. Man, perfect salt ratio. I'd say this is almost on par with a McDonald's fry, and that puts the standard right up there, okay? Mmm. It's a three, two, one. Itadakimasu! All right. So check this out. This is the fan burger. It's a double patty monster with lots of beautiful sauce in there. It's got two slices of cheese, two slices of tomato, lettuce, and something crunchy, and I don't know what it is, but come on! Mm. Oh my gosh. Man, man, that is a monster of a burger. Once you bite into it, the cheese and beef ratio to the bun, oh, it's so big I could hardly get my mouth around it. But then you've got that like sweet sauce on it, which is actually quite delicious. It's a bit mayonnaise-y, which I like. And um, there's something crunchy in there, which is actually really good. So all in all, quick super rank for this burger. Absolutely. Man, these fries are delicious. 
<laughs> All right, and here comes the Magic Burger. I'm super excited about this one just because the name is Magic. What is going on here? I thought the first burger was a monster. Are you kidding me? Can you guys see that? It's got glazed onions. It's got some kind of special sauce. It's got a tomato. It's got beef and it's got bacon. But I can see they've totally lathered this thing up with lots of mayo. Man, the glazed onions are calling my name. They're talking to me. The gods of burgers. Look at that. The ratio to the bun and the beef is absolutely amazing. Like this bun is does exactly what a bun is supposed to do. It wraps the meat and it just holds it in just enough so that you can take a bite on it. Don't be afraid of squashing a burger like this. Now, let's get a bite of this guy. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And this is for all you guys in America who bashed my In-N-Out Burger video. The glazed onions on this thing is absolutely amazing. This is exactly what I should have done when I went to America. I should have asked for the animal style. Thank you guys for pointing it out. But now I know the difference, right? But come in here, Varna, Bulgaria, BBB, Bulgaria's best burgers. I think we set the standard pretty high for this place. All right, so normally I would ditch the paper that I'm holding the burger on, but this time, man, look at that. <laughs> All the sweet sauce, it's almost like a teriyaki sauce that actually the meat has been glazed in. And also with the onions there, it kind of like really like protects and saves my life on this one today. So I'm just gonna hold on to it with the paper because it's clearly doing what it's supposed to do. Oh man. <laughs> that is good. For a sheer factor of being in your face, are you kidding me? If I have to compare this with any burger that I've had, I've already like touched base on the In-N-Out burger. I think this is what the In-N-Out burger should have tasted like. Man, now I just need to go back to America and check that out again. Anyway, we've got more burgers to eat. Let's get going. And now for the next quest here at the World Street Food, we're gonna try and find out what kind of burgers they make here. Hi. What is your uh, best-selling burger? Maybe your crispy, the crispy chicken. The crispy chicken burger? Yes. Can I have one world cheeseburger? Yes. And then the crispy chicken, please. Okay. This looks good. Oh, I think the definition of a burger is really fast food, right? And if you're gonna go for fast food, why would you not just come to the world street food? Come on. It is like a no-brainer. Street food, fast food, they're right there. Grab a burger, you know, pop up to the window and then talk to the lady and then get whatever it is you like, right? I'm actually excited about this one because it really feels authentic. As in like, it doesn't get more authentic than this. Just pop up, grab a burger and go. Thank you. I mean, seriously, this burger is the size of my face. Thank you. Um, you pay your card? Uh, yes, oh, card, of course. I gotta pay you. Junk food Japan. Junk food Japan. Yes. Okay. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I thought the first burger was big, but man, they just keep coming out bigger and bigger. This place is nuts. Like she can't even put it inside the wrapper. That's how big this burger is. Whew. Anyway, I find it extremely exciting to come to a place like this. 14 euros 98 where you're in the middle of bustling varna and then just grabbing these humongous burgers is exciting now let's have a look at what we're about to eat <gasps> oh, seriously to stand among giants that is exactly how i feel this is probably the biggest burger i've had so far and we've had some pretty darn big burgers today man the bun ratio, this one is the first one that comes with sesame uh, seeds on top of it, which is kind of exciting. I don't know why that's exciting, but the bun is nice. Man, I, I don't understand how could she could pack so much stuff in here. This is the bacon cheeseburger, clearly the one that everyone's striving to get. Man, itadakimasu! <laughs> if you gotta go for it, why not? It's got that fresh lettuce, tomato, and everything. I'm just gonna take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was absolutely no way my face was going to fit around that burger whatsoever. Man, it's nice and sweet, 
It's actually got that. What is that that I'm tasting? I think it's the bacon in this burger that actually makes it super sweet. The bacon has got a sweet taste to it. And then it comes with the mayo. So it's like a double whammer for, you know, sweetness on this thing. I was gonna grab another bite to find out if I can taste the lettuce. Mmm. Man, for bang for your buck, I would say this burger delivers. There's so much meat in there. There's so much going on in there. And all the flavors are just exploding all over the place. When I bite into it, I can taste the bread. I can taste the sweetness of the sauce on it, you know? That mayo-inspired sauce, which is probably their original one they mixed up. And then you've got the juiciness from the beef patty. Wow. That burger delivers. Um, is it on par with some of the other burgers we've had today? Not so sure, but I'm more intrigued by the chicken burger. So let's have a look at that one, as I got it right here. Once again, let me open it up for you guys. Look at that. That chicken burger is as big as the other one. And you can see this one here comes with fried chicken pieces, fillets inside. Like it's an abundance of chicken going on in there. Good, so what I'm expecting from this burger, cause I could see that these chicken tender fries, they're like crispy as nothing else. I'm expecting to have the bread hold on to my burger and then I'm gonna bite through the crunchiness of the chicken wings. Absolutely gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'll be absolutely honest with you guys. I am not a chicken burger guy. Come on, who would want a chicken burger when you can get bacon and you can get, you know, beef patties and stuff like that. But this chicken burger, this tender, crisp chicken burger delivers. It's got a different sauce from the beef patty one. Actually, if I had to compare this with any kind of burger, I would actually say that this comes close to the fish burger from Moss Burger in Japan, because that one also has a really nice crunchiness to the deep fried fish patty that they have. But this is chicken, and somehow, I know that this chicken is actually quite dry, you know, because it's been deep fried in the way it has been. So you're really only getting the flavor of the chicken with the crunchiness of the batter that it's been, you know, deep fried in. But man, it's delicious. I don't even know why, but it's good. <laughs> oh yeah. Then you get, oh. Okay. I didn't expect that. She did ask me if I want jalapenos with it, but man, I got one of those jalapenos right now. Oh, it's got a kick to it. It's good. It's really good. You know, it also comes with the freshness of the tomato and the lettuce in there. It is fresh, it is crunchy, it is hot and sour and spicy all at the same time. Man, and it's just an experience. It was one of those things that I didn't expect. It kind of crept up on me as the last thing I'm gonna eat on the show today. So, the concept for today's video is clearly BBB, Bulgaria's best burgers, potentially right here in Varna. I think we were off to a great start. I'm not gonna rank them number one, number two, and number three. Why not? Everyone likes a good ranking. So, number one, who only gets one star, was Fan Burger gets only one star in my rankings of the Bulgarian burgers here in Varna today. Number two, who gets two stars, was definitely the street burger at World Street Food. I thought it was really good. I think, um, I mean, to be honest, I'm happy that we got two different burgers, right? The bacon cheeseburger, not so impressed. Because of the chicken burger, man, that thing just completely overpowered me, wham, and took my mind away. The crunchiness of that chicken, oh yeah, totally worth two stars. Now, the best burger was definitely the gourmet burger that we had. Man, those chili fries delivered. They were spicy, they were juicy, and they were like still crispy, even when they were like completely doused in cheese and chilies and also chili chili sauce, whatever you want to call it. And man, that burger, glazed onions. Talk about getting the glazed onions right. Absolutely. Now that place, burgers and fries. Go! Number one ranked in 2022 from all the fans in Varna. Absolutely. Three stars. Boom, boom, boom. And that was it. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and leave a comment below. What is your favorite street food? Do you want me to travel more around the world and taste out what is out there? Because that has been my dream with this channel all along. I'm sure we will be filming more kind of this content. But anyway, 
What is your favorite street food? What is your favorite place in the world for something like this? Is it all burgers? Absolutely not. There is a pizza place right here. Check it out. Again, street food at its best. You just go up and you order a piece of pizza. Unfortunately, we're not going there today. And there are so many kebab places. Whew, I'm gonna do a whole series just on kebabs next time. Anyway, if you see what you like and like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, set that reminder, go ahead and share it with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. What? Coming here to Bulgaria actually is kind of like stepping into time slip. I feel like I'm part of like the early like 90s or late 80s where people are still doing graffiti and stuff like this. I don't see this kind of stuff in Japan, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. As when I was a young kid, <laughs> I might have tagged my name here and there.